All right, Premier Club is released today, and you know what that means? We need to get our gold Premier, so 20 bonds for basically 150k loyalty points. It is well worth it, I promise. Which is amazing. Premier Artifact, of course, which we can actually reset an aura, which is going to be very crucial for when we um, start Talos pushing, possibly today. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself a legendary pet. Apparently Blood Pouncer is the one to go for, so we're going to have him. Um, so that should be our first legendary, and that will be... Um, Quite useful for, uh, you know, I guess Slayer later on and stuff, so uh, that's all good. Jagex, why did you give me an Umbral chest and a protein pack? One, I can't open the chest, can I bank it? Nope, okay, cool, well that's completely useless. Okay guys, doing some AOD, I got my tectonic armor doing its things, that is awesome. Trying to get some good jobs, of course. Uh, Crystal Trisk for this one, so fantastic. However, after AOD, we'll, we'll be checking out the uh, new construction update, which we we're going to be doing initially now, but we got invited to AOD, and we you, you can't say no to AOD, can you? You just can't say no. All right, what's this one going to be? Oh, incandescent energies and an achievement for defeating 50 AODs. That is a lovely drop, love the incandescence, and a nice milestone too. Ceramic scales, stack value 12k. I find that a little bit hard to believe game, but okay. Um, I think I actually have enough now to make a full set of Cyrenic, if I do so desire. Ooh, look at that! Holly there with the Imperium Core. So I was just saying about seeing more drops, and there, there one is! Hopefully that was it at first. You needed it? Nice, 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 nice. Got the set, hell yeah! Well done, he's got his uh, Praiser set now, it's awesome. Elements as well. Hey guys, what's a birthday party's favorite element? The element of surprise. Ah. Guys, last clip of the chip back to back, anyone? Not quite, but 28 medium blunts. Snoop Dogg would be very proud. So thank you for the trip, everybody. That was awesome. And congrats to uh, MacGyver for the Imperium Core as well. Okay, so with our new Lord points from Premium Membership, I'm, uh, I'm finally feeling rich. We're gonna buy a few auras. First up is penance, because that'd be really good for buying a um, motive for, for killing vias, basically. Okay, so for now I've gone for resourceful for sandstone. I've gone for penance for doing vias and maybe like some AFK slayer tasks. So those, uh, those two right there. Farming if I ever get into that properly, and then uh, I've also gone for master runic for the, this is for um, like zero to one hundred percent talos if we're doing streaks. So and also for just using if I need to whenever. Okay, I would like a new contract, please. So, because of this, I need to make some bookcases and beds and chests and beds, and I get 10k XP for doing it, so it seems like a a good plan. Let's do it. Uh, here we go. So, you can um, go to your desired location, and basically the houses will have like white uh, like things on them, and then you just, you just build it, and then you're good to go. you still got normal XP, for uh, making all of uh, all the things, and then you get that little bonus at the end when uh, when you finish it, and then I assume hand it in as well. Okay, here we go. This is the final one. Definitely recommend bringing a beast of burden. That should give me like ten thousand bonus XP, I believe. Oh wow, look at that! Nice, and I got five credits as well. You can buy, I believe, some pretty fancy outfits. Um, most probably the um, master constructor's outfit. Which will, um, well, has a lot of effects actually. That's a lot of really good ones. If it will like auto remove items when you make them in your house to you know just save the tedium when you're doing construction, so that's really, really, really cool. Um, so definitely def recommend trying to get this if you need to get to an email or something. Okay, so already got one level on my construction. I don't know how far off I was, I imagine not too far. Level 81, and I guess we'll do a couple more contracts and see what happens. So yeah, I've had enough of construction contracts for now, because um, it's, it's the raw, I'm going to try and get ourselves another weapon piece. And I got told that resource was quite good to use here, to uh, not make your tree die. Scissor is mainly good for the beginning, um, like for the chance of not depleting the resource, when you like stack up on loads of logs. Um, like it, it's, 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 it's a little buff, it doesn't help too much, but you know, it's just a bit of an advantage. Alright, that is the final dinosaur of this guy, so now we're actually going to go boost up and take on Pavasaurus, and maybe get a second more piece, we'll see what happens.
Actually, those 62 Grumble Spikes are actually incredibly good for me because I, um, I'm trying to make more overloads and I'm really struggling on the spikes, so that's actually a really, really nice drop to have. Hello, 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 Double Plavasaurus. Do you think maybe you can be kind to me, give me a longest bonus, maybe? Okay, here we go. Second one is down. Ah, uh, no peace, but I'm not really surprised either. That is all good. I got a hunter level though, so we're level 87. One more level and I can do my master clue. Cool. Ooh, golden dragon fruit. I think those ones are really good. Um, I believe they're worth a lot. Yeah, like 240k each. I think they're very good for getting primal pulp in the future, I think. All right, last Parasaurus Rex on the Hunter bit here. Do we get lucky? We do not, but Grenwell Spikes. I'm, we actually got quite a few of these now. It's really good. Got like um, over 200 from this trip. That's good. So fun fact, guys, this is my first ever Corbicular Rex. We need this guy for um, the Malatops for the Volcanic Fragments someday in the future. So let's do it. All right, last Corby Rex. What are we going to get? Some uh, Dinosaur Hide, so not too bad. And hopefully a bunch of meat now for the um, the Malatops, that's the plan anyway, so I've got seven. Alright guys, here we go, doing some herb lore, got myself a level, so we're on 93 at the moment. We've made ourselves um, a bunch of overloads um, just now, and 138, and we need to make some more holies. Okay nice, so I bought myself a supreme overload, we're actually going to make some right now in fact. I'm not going to make too many because it's not melee hour and that's a bit of a waste of XP, but we're going to make, we're gonna make some. Huge overload stack now. Got 75 regulars. I've got 44 supremes and 27 holies. I'll make more of these at some point, I think, but we'll uh, save that for a bit later. So we're out of rots for the first time in a while. And this time I'm ranging. I've got my Rekosaur on, so hopefully that's all going to go great. That's the, the plan anyway. It's in PB, so definitely cannot complain. And Grabs ourselves some uh, magic seeds as well, which again, I'm probably never going to plant, so it's kind of whatever, but still pretty cool. There it goes, the, the classic rots drop. Um, very good for rock tails, also known as rots tails. You get so many of them, and yeah, it's a really, really good source of raw rock tails if you can do those. Yeah, more rock tails, see? Rock tails, two energies, and uh, a very happy me, because I've got like almost 300 rock tails so far, and also I've got um, like 100 onyx bolts, it's really good. How does Aram last? That's weird. Considering we both have um range. Dude, 25! Wow, that is some serious speed. Look at that, level 85 range, you know, pretty much the, the recommended level for rots. So we're, we're all good now. And also got some more rock tails, which is lovely, so let's keep it going. Okay, I wasn't even sure how that kill was that fast, but a 23 second kill. We are absolutely dominating right now. Good job, team. This is amazing. Oh, we got a glitch tunnel. Nice. Uh, this happens sometimes. It goes that way a bit. He's a bit lost. And um, he's going that way. Okay. <laughs> then we're going this way. I like these tunnels. They're very rare, though. We ended with some um, Onyx Bolts and some Energies, which is always good. I think I got like 500 Onyx Bolts this trip and like 600 Rock Tails. So, very, very good trip indeed. I guess 400 Bolts. So, I've never seen this before. This is actually the, the Premier Club um, bonus. You get a free instance. It's really awkward here because my Rax instance is free in the first place, so it doesn't use it up. All right, there we go. So doing our Rax Reaper. Got five kills. That's a really good first kill, actually. Going well. Looking for a web, as always, of course, but doing a middle path right now, so uh, we need, need it like as well. Nice, this is going well. Oh, a 420. Surely that's a web because a web looks like smoke, doesn't it? It makes sense. Ah, oh, disaster. Ma imagine. Uh, I guess you can burn logs and they make smoke as well. All right, there we go. Another one down. Rax is being a little bit of a troll in some of the phases, but that is all good. Ooh, two onyx. All right. I am very much a fan of that. All right, there we go. Another one down. Another bit of a messy one, but that is okay. I got some scales. They're very nice. I think I've got nearly 100 right now. It's really good. Okay, well, that kill almost started with a three. That was... um. Kind of good until it wasn't on phase four. Got some lantern dimes, you know, crowd favorite. I've got like 6,000 of them, I think. And look at that. That is a Reaper task done. 30 points as well. That's fantastic. And grab another Reaper as well. And grab some more herbs. So lots of grabbing right now. Let's go. Goodness, dude, 8.6 mil. It's only been a day. Dude, this output machine is wonderful. 
Oh, I feel like I'm a millionaire. Well, I guess I technically am. Eight, 14 million to be precise. All right, you guys know the drill. It is the raw again, so we're doing the Pavasaurus, trying to get that a long bone if we're a bit lucky. Also a hunter level as well if we can. All right, we have a double dinosaur here. Is it going to be the one? Nah, I'm not surprised. That's okay. 24 torsos. That's actually not bad, is it? And an absolute ton, ton of XP. Oh, another golden dragon fruit. I've had a lot of these recently. And yeah, I hear they are very, very, very rather incredibly good. So that's fantastic. And well, would you look at that. Got ourselves a hunter level. I know I'm talking about that, but um, still 88. I can do charming moths. So that means I can do my master clue. Cool. All right, the last couple of pavos here. What is it going to be? Anything good? No, nah, nothing good this time. Not even Grimwall Spikes, unfortunately. So that that's okay. That's just how it is sometimes, isn't it? Well, first and last, I suppose, because we did like um five of them, I think, no like four. But I, I don't. I've only got two meat left, and I, if I got a triple, I would never leave it, li live it down. So we're gonna exit there. Okay, I've just been a very good boy, and I've got myself over six thousand elder energy, which means I have a lot of potential nihils because I've been running really, really low on them recently. Yeah, I'm doing some archaeology for a little bit with my premier artifact with the 50% um, chance of a porter thing, and it's working quite well. It's gives me a bit more time, and uh, I need to get on the grind anyway, so why not? Doing for a little bit, and tomorrow we shall take on Telos. We really will, because we have a Reaper for it, so we've committed, and, you know, road to 1000% begins. See you then.